really got to pull the clue of the tail to keep it clear. Yes, the, uh, the engine should be on. The generator, there's a generator that will always be running. state-of-the-art engines in it, state-of-the-art technology. Like I said, the first hospital, the first internal telephone system on a private yacht. Uh, a lot of uh, the first washer-dryer on a private yacht. Wow. And so, okay. you, the other ships that have been on, you know, other steel ships, you hear, you feel the engines and hear them. Right I'm glad they built it on the cheap. It's, it gives us hope we could do the same, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was Marjorie. That was Marjorie's side. You know, don't tell me the cost. I don't want to know. Just make it right. Well, the economy was pretty depressed everywhere in 1931, but well, uh, they uh, had the money. So. Well, when they started planning, yeah, and that uh, that's a big part of the story. You know, they had uh, they had Hussar Four, the which was the, the Mandalay. You know, in through the 20s and the Roaring 20s, and they had planned to build a better ship, and then the crash came in 29, and it it was a big controversy. You know, to uh, first of all to build the ship outside of the United States, uh, a lot of people didn't like that during the you know early 30s, and then uh, it also wasn't suddenly it wasn't the time to really flaunt the most luxurious private yacht in the world, oh, yeah. which is why, which is one of the reasons, that they took it and they, they lived on the ship and they went to the South Pacific and they got it because it wasn't the right time to be hanging around New York Harbor saying, you know, look at our, look, how look, look how rich we are, yeah, yeah. Thank you. 